Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button because you'll find new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration here every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And thank you so very much to the original Super Glue for sponsoring today's video. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you four different projects. They're all super duper simple and they're also super quick. So let's go ahead and get started with the first project. Before I jump into the projects, I did want to share with you a little bit more closely and in depth all of the supplies that I'm going to be using for them because these projects are going to go pretty quickly and I wanted to give you an up close look before we got started. So the, the baskets are all from Target. My clothespins are from the Dollar Tree, but everything else that you see here is from Hobby Lobby. So I did check. I know a lot of us are not able to get out and go shopping right now and the stores are probably closed, but you can go on Hobby Lobby's website and these are all available online. So you can order these, including Super Glue's Super Unix. You can find this at Hobby Lobby as well. And this is the product that is gonna make our projects go super fast. So the great thing about it is it's gonna work with all of these different mediums. So it's gonna work on our basket, it's gonna work with the wood, and it's even gonna work with our terracotta pots. So the items that I have from Hobby Lobby include the, this is all products from their wood pile. Uh, line so these are really inexpensive these are eight shield wood shapes they have these really pretty um, intricate little designs are just flat pieces of wood I also have some of their four inch circle plaques these are only $2.99 and they come with four of them so such a great deal um, these are the candlesticks they are 7 8 inch and there are five of them in here for $4.99 I have a terracotta pot and one of their saucers. The pot was $1.37 and the base was $1.27, so really inexpensive there. And then this wreath was the last one that they had and I loved it so much. It did have some damage to it, but I'm gonna use my super glue to fix it and also really make it beautiful. So this one is their laser cut vine wreath. It was $4.99. So now that I've shared with you all of the items I'm gonna be using in this tutorial today, let's go ahead and get started with the first one. First up is the mini riser. You'll need a candlestick, white and brown paint, foam paint brushes, your super unique super glue, and the round discs. I started by painting the discs with white chalk paint. I did two coats, but you can do one coat. It's completely up to you and the look that you're going for. You can also use a hair dryer that will help speed up the drying process. And you also want to make sure you do the top and bottom of these discs. Next, we're going to paint the candlesticks using the brown acrylic paint. I'm using the color Traditional Burnt Umber. I just did one coat on these. I really like the way the wood shows through instead of making them a solid brown tone. Once all of my wood pieces were completely dry, I was able to add a few drops of my Super Unix Super Glue to the candlestick. I flipped over the wood disc and then flipped the candlestick on top of that. I held down firmly for about 10 seconds and that's all you need to do to create these cute mini risers. I have had so many questions about the little risers that I have used on my coffee bar and the ones that you saw in my coffee bar tour are from the Target Dollar Spot but usually they don't have those they're kind of hard to find so this is a great alternative you can create your own really really inexpensively and super quick as well. And now we're going to move on to this farmhouse style wood wreath. The supplies you're going to use are the wreath from Hobby Lobby. You're going to need your traditional burnt umber paint, foam paintbrush, your super unix, and your clothespins. Now like I said earlier, my wreath had been damaged and so I used just a few dots of my super unix, held it in place for a few seconds, and it was completely unnoticeable and I was able to get to creating. 
I'm using my traditional burnt umber acrylic paint and foam paintbrush again for this project. I love wood and obviously you can always paint this to match your home's decor if you'd like. I love the way wood grain looks and so I kind of use this paint as a stain instead of a paint so it has a beautiful tone to it. And then next I used my Super Unix to randomly place some of the clothespins around the, the wreath on the little leaves and that's all there basically was to it. I did end up hanging this with a piece of scrap ribbon that I already had on hand. You can also find that at Hobby Lobby too. I think it would be so pretty if you layered this wreath on top of a greenery type wreath and kind of give it even more dimension and style. I've also displayed mine with some family photos, but you could add recipes to this. You could add notes to this. So the possibilities with this piece are endless. Spring is such a beautiful time of year and I love using flower pots in my decor. This one has a little bit of a camouflage to it so maybe you wouldn't necessarily notice that it was a flower pot. But we're going to transform a flower pot that's four inches, a six inch saucer with our super glue and some white and gray chalk paint. So the first thing I did was give the saucer the entire thing, top and bottom and sides a coat of gray chalk paint. I also gave the outside of the terracotta pot one coat of gray paint as well. Once the gray paint was dry, I went back in and dry brushed on some white chalk paint over the gray. And I did it kind of sparingly so I could see some of that gray paint popping through from underneath. Once all of the paint was dry, I added some of my super glue to the bottom of the terracotta pot, flipped it over upside down onto the bottom of the saucer. I held it in place for about 10 seconds before flipping it over and it was completely ready to go. I have mine displayed here in my kitchen on my coffee bar, but the great thing about this is you could add a layer of clear sealant to it and you could even use this piece outside. Let me know down in the comments how would you use one of these in your home. This project is super easy to sort of dress up and add some style and organization to baskets you already have on hand. I'm gonna be using the flat wood pieces and some chalkboard paint along with my Super Unix Super Glue to really dress up my baskets that I have in my craft room. So here I'm just adding two coats of my chalkboard paint with a foam paintbrush to the front sides of all of my wooden pieces. I let them dry really, really well before I used a chalk marker to add numbers to the fronts of all of these. And then I used my Super Unix Super Glue to attach them to the fronts of the baskets. It was a super quick and super, super simple project, but it added such a nice flair and decorative touch to my space.
I would love to hear which one of these projects was your favorite. Please leave those down in the comments below. And I hope all of these projects inspired you. Please take a second and give this video a thumbs up for me. And if you haven't yet, you can click the subscribe button next to me and I'll have more wonderful DIYs that you'll want to check out linked below that. And also make sure to come find me on Facebook and on Instagram for even more inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.